Now I'm going to remake uh, the redstones. First we need a clock. Uh, and there's some other stuff I don't remember. I'm probably going to go back and forth several times. Good thing for you, I'm going to fast forward that part. Right, there's a knot gate, and uh, I'm going to put a button. Uh, I'm going to put a button there for now, just to test the thing. Clicky click. There must be better way of doing this. Hmm. No. Maybe, maybe like this. Okay. Yeah, that would work. And when there's a signal, it's going to. Uh, I remember that. I think this goes through unlatched uh, rest on thing. And this should be the latch. And it should be like this, I think. Let's try that. Uh, that's that's not what I would call call working. Uh, okay, so uh, well, that looks the same to me. I don't know what's wrong. This goes to here and here. But normally this is off, so I'm going to do that. Now when I press this button, oh, oh, well, that's that's stupid. Okay. Eh? Wait, what? Oh, right. Right, no, no, no. Uh, 
Uh, how do I how do I uh, uh, restore the state? It should be like this. Oh, that's why. Okay. And now if I press this, it should turn on the clock. Okay. Wait. That doesn't look right. Uh, I should turn on the clock immediately. Oh, these two are connected. So I guess I cannot build like this. I have to do the old fashioned way. So I press this, it should. Right, right. Uh, start the clock. No? Uh, let's just start the clock. No, the clock is suppressed. Uh, okay, if I press it, it should start the clock immediately. Okay, good. And uh, when we have this and this, it should stop the clock. Okay, there's one more tick, but... Uh, I think I need to test this with a button. Just to make sure everything is working. All right. Doing that should stop. It's not stopping. Right, there should be uh, some sort of delay, I think, from this side. Nope. 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 I don't know what to do. Uh, maybe oh, I need more repeaters. I'll borrow one here. Maybe it's something like this. It's not running. We should stop. Nope. Maybe this one. Nope. Maybe I should delay this one. Finally! Now, that's not starting anything. Alright, alright. I need to put a dial here so the signal doesn't travel back. Okay. Now let's start the clock. Let's stop the clock. There you go. I'm still a genius. Now I just need to install the tripwires and actually see it work. If it works. I think there's a, some delays here, so I'm not quite sure. Uh, I think maybe... Uh, I'll do the adjustments later. So uh, I think that delay is going to uh, make it longer than it actually is. 
like uh, there's a couple repeaters there it's going to take some time i'm going to add some repeaters here so the clock will stop uh the clock will uh, the clock will the Let me count how many uh, repeaters are there. So let's assume these are okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. So there's eight repeaters. Uh, going to put a button here. Eight repeaters should be equal to, uh, I think, uh, two, four repeater. I think. I don't know. I'm I'm going to test it just j just to make sure. Uh, let me go to my creative world really fast. There we go. The so time to down. Mm. So the way to test uh, whether something is in sync, I think should be, uh, I should use a redstone lamp. Basically, I will have a clock. Oh. I'll have a clock uh, first. So everything should use the same clock. Wait, this is not the same. So you can see this. Uh, okay. Wow, I thought it's just going to light up, but okay. So this will be the main signal. It's going to go through here and uh, this will be one delay. You can see they are not really in sync. But if I uh, do this, they will be in sync. So now the problem is, if I have eight repeaters, uh, how many four repeaters I need to make them in sync? So this side will have eight. Oh, just a shortest length repeater. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there will be a lamp. And... Uh, I think I need at least one and two. Whoa. Right. So this, uh, this, uh, this clock is too fast for that. <laughs> okay. I need a, a slower clock. Uh, that's the wrong direction.
So now you can see, ah, it's going on and off. Let's first try two. Yeah, I think we got it. Yeah, I think uh, one shortest length repeater would just be uh, no four repeater here equal to one repeater there. I think that's that's perfect. Let me just add on one to see what happens. Yeah, they're not in sync anymore. Uh, if I add one here, yeah, they are not in sync as well. I think a two full repeater should be the answer. So I should delay the circuit from the start by two repeaters and the end by nothing. I hope that works. So delaying this by, oh, okay. So this is now a key point. If I do this here, it's going to affect this circuit and that circuit. So what I'm going to do is, mm, I want to connect this to another circuit, basically. Basically, this will go to something from here, and it's going to be delayed by uh, that, by two full repeaters. And then it's going to go through the key block. Uh, the key block in this case will be in here, will be in here. No, it has to be in here, because I need to put a repeater here to make it work and see so this go this way let me just see whether it's long enough uh, okay it's not enough that's good news and this one will go so it will be delayed by two repeaters for this signal only. Signals here, here or here will not be delayed. Uh, so that one. So now, okay, I need to reset the thing. Uh, to reset the thing, I have to do this. I have to do this and do that. Ugh. This is so complicated. Okay, that, and that, and everything's connected. Okay, now if I press a button, I start a clock after a delay. Now if I uh, do this, it's going to stop the clock. I just need to put a dispenser here make everything else work. Uh, maybe I'll add another one just in case I need some fine tuning just because of these. I think these probably need, I think this probably need one more, uh, uh, one more repeater to just balance out. Maybe. Let me see if this whole thing still works. Okay, now it starts, and uh, now it stops. Okay, good. Mm. 
Okay, I think the next step will be installing the trip wires and uh, uh, and the dispenser and other stuff. Maybe this one needs balancing as well. Maybe this is the one that actually stops the thing. Maybe it's this one? Mm, I don't know. If I delay that... Okay, if I delay that, it's got not going to uh, affect anything because I insulated this circuit. Uh, this, one, this one is delayed by 8 repeaters and the uh, 3 delay repeater. This one is just uh, stopping the thing. You can see uh, one I have a rising edge. So let's, let me start the clock. I think the rising edge uh, s uh, stops the clock. You can see the rising... Eh. No. Yeah, the, the rising edge stops the clock. And now uh, if I uh, remove the rest all, it, it, it's not... Um, okay, let me explain. So, uh, let me start the clock again. So, when you have a signal like uh, a button, it has a rising edge and falling edge, basically like a signal processing. Uh, that's what you have. Rising edge is going from uh, 0 to 1, from not on, well, from off to on. And then the falling edge is from on to off. So when it goes from off to on, it stops the clock. When it goes from on to off, it does nothing. So I should attune it to this this repeater, not that one, just to make sure because this is the one for the rising edge. This actually stops the thing. This one is just to like uh, mitigate the effect of this thing. I think. Let me let me just think through. Uh, let me just think through this. So if I start the clock, you can see uh, to stop the clock. Um, if this goes on, this goes off. Hmm. This go this going off is needed, but uh, the thing is, I need this goes off and this goes on to set this to on again to set this latch to on again. So it's still this. When this goes on, this goes on because it, it first has to be unlatched. And then you have a signal. Yeah, I think that's the case. I think I'm correct here. So this should be a three. Okay, sorry for so many masks just for the Minecraft, but yeah, I have a feeling a uh, mass is going to be a theme of my Minecraft channel. <laughs> wire hook uh, strings and I need a dispenser and I need something to dispense to do the counting
Now for the tripwire hook, you need these two blocks to be something not solid. For some reason, uh, yeah, I don't think it makes sense actually, but for some reason it has to be uh, non-solid. Hmm, now oh, that's weird. I should connect. I should connect. Okay, maybe that one. Maybe this is a problem. Nope. Wait, maybe it's this. Uh, if I do that. Okay, no, that work. But. But. But, 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 ah, uh, I don't know what to do. Okay, so there's nothing connected to here. So maybe I'll bump this up. So I'll be like this. This, that, and this. And it'll be like this. Okay. And in here, there's going to be something that receive Okay, these are just two full repeaters. I'm ca I can put them here. It's okay. One, two, four. Yeah. Okay, just add some extra rest on to solve the whole problem. Right. Okay. Okay, problem solved. Now if I go through here, I can see. Okay, it fires. And this one connects to a dispenser, which I hope is in here. Okay, great. No. No, no, no. Access. Now there should be an override switch. Basically, it should override everything. So if I turn this on, nothing works anymore. Okay, great. Everything needs an override switch, just in case. That's a good practice. I still haven't made sure this thing actually works. <laughs> uh, but we are getting there. Okay, I need to put this up one block. Where's my, oh, where's my strings? Oh, this is just terrible logistics. Okay, put me 
here. And that would be that. Here, here. And that should turn it. Okay. Here, oh, it's here. Okay, Okay, now for the first time, I'm going to measure my speed in Minecraft. So that just turned the whole clock off. Okay. This is going to hold everything. Now, at first, I'm going to test my speed uh, walking. Then I'm going to test my speed running. And then I'm going to test my speed riding a horse. OK? Uh, let me see whether everything is in place. Yeah, I need to stop this. OK, first is walking. Oh, this is starting line. Ah, oh, let's start. You can see the clock ticking on the map. I'm trying to walk in a straight line. And there's spiders, there's spiders, there's spiders, there's spiders, there's spiders, there's uh Great. Okay, stop. Okay. I'm glad the spider did not affect the result. Okay, now let's just see. Uh, wait, how do I know they didn't pass through the line already? Uh, I think maybe I need to encase the whole thing to make... Oh. Hmm, something went wrong. And the clock's still running. Oh, that's just too bad. Hmm, okay. Fine. Okay, I'm going to fix the problems today. I think maybe I need to use a dropper instead. Maybe dispenser just dispense the same. Maybe. See, there's always something you, you, you didn't think of. You couldn't think of. You couldn't possibly think of. Well, maybe you could. Maybe you could. I can't. Mm. 
Now this is what's wrong. Okay, dropper stat. Uh, put stuff inside. Now if I just do that. Okay, so now it's working. I should make a reset button. Like if I press this, everything in here will be put back into the dropper. Maybe I'll do that in a later episode. Okay, everything is in place. I'm going to retest my speed walking. You can still see a little bit of light going on and off on the map. Hello, chicken. I hope you're not messing with my results. Okay. Did it go through? Oh, but I didn't see anything. Yeah, it stopped. Okay. 49 blocks. Now let me reset. Now remember this number 49 blocks and I'm going to run this time. If I did everything correctly, the number will be lower. Thirty-eight. Now I'm going to ride a horse. So uh, forty-nine and thirty-eight blocks we have. Well, let's go by horse. Twenty-three. So basically, this horse increased like your speed by one hundred percent. I think roughly one hundred percent. I think it's yeah. I'll call this working. So there's that. Okay, now I'm comfortably in my place. Let's analyze the data. Oh, we know it's 48, uh, no, 49, 38, and 23 dirt uh, that's dispensed from 128 block travel. So uh, let's do the math with a computer. Okay. I move my chair to a comfortable distance. Okay. There. Okay, I'm I'm very new to computer craft. I just know some basics. So uh, let me start. So uh, help programs. Okay. Uh, 
I need to start a new file. The command for that is edit. So I want to make a new file called speed result. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I want to know a couple of things. Basically, I, I, want, I just want to do some math. And then, uh, then what do I do? Right, then I want to print them on the paper. I have a printer here, you can see. There's very little ink. Okay, let's start. So to access a printer, you need, um, let me, let me see. Uh, okay, local. Now these are all from the computer craft, like uh, Wiki. You can you can go to Wiki. I'll put a link in and do what I do. Uh, printer dot new page. Now I know it's gonna be ready. I have papers in there, so I don't. I'm not checking anything. If you write your own program, you should check. If you write programs in real life, you have to check. Okay. Now I need to go to the next line. This is very funny in computer graph. You have to move the cursor. So printer dot set. That's uh, the first character of the second line because I just printed one line. Now I need to print uh, speed. Does that work? I hope that works. I'm just treating it like Java. Uh, speed for walking, because uh, I'm doing this because I want it to look nice. Uh, plus, distance travel by divided by time, which is 49.0, because I don't want to the, do the integer division thing. Now I'm going to do that, Control C, Nope, control doesn't work. Okay. Printer. I forgot that I should add some units. Okay, I actually don't need that thing. I can just align myself. Yeah. It's aligned. 128 divided by... Okay, I think, I think that should be it. And the next thing is set page title. So printer dot... Okay, I think I typed it correctly. No, that's not Java. It's, it's not Java. Okay, save. Exit. I'm going to run the program. What's the name of program? Programs. Uh, speed Redal. Let's hope it doesn't crash. There we go. Attempt to perform arithmetic. Add string, add on string and number. Okay. String concatenation problem. I need to figure out how to do that. Let me just. Uh... Okay, it's dot dot. So in here it should be dot dot. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to add a bracket here. So this goes first, it doesn't go dot dot 128 and try to divide string by a number. Okay, because I, I just don't know what happens when I do a new programming language. Print anything? Okay, no. 
exit speed result attempting to index a nil value and that's line eight okay add it One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. Okay. I hope there, there's no other problem. Okay, that should be it. Safe. Exit. Okay, finally. Okay, I have my printed page. It's speed test result. Uh, let me look at it. Okay, and distance that. Oh. oh, I forgot to move the cursor. Okay, that's wrong. Add it. So I need to move the cursor. Printer dot. <laughs> Save, exit, page not started, page not started, because I'm out of ink. Ink. That's a lot of ink, just to print like one ink sack for one page. Okay. I have a feeling I, I need a lot more ink sacks just to test all my later programs. Go. Let's see the result. Okay, so speed for walking. Oh, it's too long. Okay, it's two point something uh, block per dirt. So you can see that. Uh, from walking to running, there's 0 0.7 increase, 0 0.7, 2.6 divided by 0 0.7, which is, uh, seven, which is roughly a quarter. And as expected, uh, the speed for horse is like, like twice the speed of walking. Okay, that'll be my first test result. <laughs> Okay, and this will be the end of video. I don't know how to end. I think I'm go just going to cut. Okay, see you next time.